Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, which we're playing as Anta del Sol. And which I've played as him before, but it's been a while since we've been there. Um, the last time I played as him was at the time of this recording, probably about two years ago. We were by the Generalissima Viala, and we got a couple of natural spirits, but we're going to do the Chief of the Sun. Who is your favorite fearless a generalissimo who's brave and ready for trouble who's so unbelievably humble viala he was not always a general but even as a child viala knew he was blessed by the sun the danger from the sea el generalissimo was but a simple soldier of fortune never wanted to seek greatness he had greatness thrust upon him when the monsters came from the depths also we're using old world blues old world blues radio uh, tech expanded old world blues tech expanded um, and we're also using a special sub mod for this nation which adds a small little focus tree for us I'm um, called Old World Blues Madra del Sol, uh, and which aims to improve some aspects of everyone's favorite gun making, tequila drinking, potting people of the sun. Includes a new section of the focus tree focusing on alternate leader for the, our nation, Maria Esquerda. Uh, so the we're going to show Henta through Mexican democracy and the laws of man, not of juntas or Atlani psychics. So, but the child of the sun, Aviaso Generalissimo. Even as a child, all knew he was destined for greatness. He'll gladly tell you that he was born in a solar eclipse, although he is oddly reticent on which one. And took after he took after the sun, for he was as bright as the sun, Ooh. as constant as the sun, as fierce as the sun. I like the divisions, but I like Pipi. Open for business. Puerto Libertad was not only the town on the coast that Del Sol attacked by the Congregos. El Generalissimo used his success to establish a franchise opportunity for soldiers along the coast in time. It began to sell weapons as well, for it was always better to diversify. I mean, in stocks, too. The menace from the deep. Thirty years ago, El Generalissimo was peaceably providing a voluntary protection to the people of Puerto Libertad when monstrous congregios emerged from the depths. Also, I apologize for mispronouncing everything. When the leader from, of his troop fled, El Generalissimo rallied the men and coordinated their attacks brilliantly. When the dust was clear, the people of Puerto Libertad were so grateful that they voluntarily offered leadership of their now weakly defended town to the young soldier, and several of the women of the town volunteered to offered something else. Oh, and the people feasted. A great hero. A cunning hero. Um, we're not maxing out the military stuff. We chose, could have chosen the military stuff. He could be brave. Or cunning. Who could be cunning? Alright, so domestic affairs. How do we get over here? for business. We get a lot of political power. While we sell our guns as far as California and the Arizona, or and and Arizona, we have many important matters close to home as well. The Nevada stranger, building up the villa, from raiders to soldiers, the eagle economy, free trade. Dante Guerra will be willing to work with you, but President uh, Mora is unlikely to do so. But if Dante Guerra accepts, they'll gain access to your market. Ooh. And the bull market. Also, we're on a historical, so we don't know how things are gonna go. So we're gonna go domestic affairs. Well, we still have guns as far as California and Arizona, like I just read. Uh, many more aspects are close to come as well. Um, so with the nation, we sell a lot of stuff. We have the armory, 400 massive guns, current arms factory seven, current weaponry production rate 77 per month. Huh. Reduce 10 arms per uh, 10 per arms factory, modify by 10 percent. Reduce when unlocking new equipments. Current price is five. We can increase the price or we can lower the price. Let's keep it there, we go. The free exchange of ideas and ammunition. Despite what Las Tres Mascaras says, El Generalissimo has proven to be a capable ruler. He may enjoy his margaritas and mujeres, but what leader does not? He has turned Enta into a proper city, but its prosperity rests to a large degree on guns and mercenaries. He's got money, he's got guns. Rata is producing guns. Rata is building tools to build guns. I like tools. We need more scrap, though. Infantry equipment's uh, pretty good too. Let's see what this. Uh, I forgot what I did last time. I'll see what this one's like. Prioritize selling guns. So we're gonna do that to get more political power and whatnot. Oh, oh, we get more steel. Oh, that'd be really good too. Getting extra to our markets to accept. So the headaches. Baja contracts. Well, cartel arms sound like fun. Oh, we have a vault down here too. Ooh. Reverse engineering, but cartel arms. For better or for worse, some of our best customers are the cartels. For now. Yeah. They're already good customers. Uh, Maria Sinaloa is one of our best customers. We can take advantage of this to leverage further opportunities. Also, for the focus tree for the sub mod, um, we have a mother del sol down there, so we gotta get Maria in power. The eagle economy. 
The Republic of the Rio Grande is considered to be one of the successes of the Waste, the jewel of Mexico, and an emerging and growing leading economy. The presence of vigorous leadership in a rising middle class means that it is ready for bloody foreign wars, which mean a ready market for us, especially since the Texas Arms Association are such a holes. Um, bonus weapon production. Fun in the sun. Master of persuasion. Lord of War. Ooh. Friendly bartender. Ooh, you lose a bit of power, though. I don't like that. More cap. I like the pee pee. Can we have more pee pee, please? It's never enough. So we must do that. Um, Rock Reels Roughnecks versus Exit Frumentari, huh? So like I said, we're on a struggle, so I'm not sure which way we're actually going to go. Um, bonus weapon reproduction? We can see if we can do that. 91, nice. I love guns! So far we get with all that stuff. Guns and political power. Restore Puerto Libertad Solar Photovoltaic Park. Completed in the early 21st century in a project uh, by Acción de Energía and Tuto Energy. The Puerto Libertad Solar PV Park possess a power to provide hundreds of thousands of homes in Sonora. In practice, the involved private companies and the federal government will staff most of this output to meet their own needs, and but whenever whether or not we follow this trend will make uh, will not make putting it back into the operation any less fruitful. Dante Guerra says yes, the leader of the Republic of the Rio Grande has accepted our offer. It's just not wonderful. This calls for another party. Four hundred! Oh god, that's a lot. I love it. Well we'd be worth three fighters for this one. Oh. Interesting. I kind of do want to go to war quickly. Only some elaborate mescaline, mescaline field party could someone pretend that three dudes in Hispanics are the heroes of Mexico. Time to remind them that the El Generalissimo is El Futero, the Nevada Ranger. Several years ago, a lonesome ranger or stranger wandered into the Hento del Sol, a ranger with a pistol on his hip. Oh, on one hip and a bag of caps on the other, from raiders to soldiers. The, the military of our nation was once squabbling raiders and mercenaries. Aside from Viala's infinite charisma, would take for us to whip them into proper military. So we got this much. Lose 150 bottle caps and reduces weaponry per arms by factor by 10. Well, let's try it. It's only 49, huh? 366 massive guns. I don't have to show you a massive gun. Anyways, um, actually, since we're down here, since we have these uh, generic decisions, we're going to get 50% more political power, please. And we gotta increase our weekly stability as well once this is popping up. That would be good, because we could use more stability. Yeah, got some travel scout kits. Very nice, very nice. I'm not sure which way we want to go. Um, I might just go conventional warfare, maybe. I'm not sure. I'll double check that in a little bit. Let's go with that. Mother of the military. The woman who would eventually become the mother of our military was not originally from Enta del Sol. Once an Atalan and military officer, Maria Izquierda made her way to the Henta city after Tlaloc nuked the Atalani army many years ago. By this time, the Generalismo was trying to turn his unified band of raiders and mercenaries into a proper military force. Maria would approach Viala and offer to help with his, whip his men into shape in exchange for a place under the son of Enta. Since then, she's become a close advisor to the Generalismo and one of the few people he believes he can generally trust, but how loyal she is she really? In secret, Maria believes that the Hinta del Sol could one day be a bastion of democracy in Western Mexico, but can that happen while the other is still around? Glory to Hinta. We'll have to wait and see. You never know how things are going to turn out. Building the villa. El generally Sumo sacrificed so much for his people. Doesn't he deserve a little place to enjoy himself? Enjoy ourselves? Is that what we can do in life? Study the vault. Oh, yes. Now we also want to optimize training. A stranger at one fine day. Ah, back when the desert rangers protected Nevada against the vermin of the wasteland, the ranger Parker was a strategist for the group. In such opposition to the NCR, following the ranger unification treaty, he would head south down to drown his sorrows in Henta rather than join the rogue rangers banded by idealistic fools. When the vices of Henta eventually took every last cap Parker brought, Maria Ezquerda offered the disgraced ranger a place in the growing nation's armed forces to pay off his debts. A welcome addition to our militias. Ooh, and the police reports people say that they love us and accept us. The public loves their journalists and would gladly sacrifice for his project as long as they can use a pool. The adoring public. 
El Generalissimo has many admirers among the people of Costa del Sol. I'll happily build his villa for a price. Baja Contrax. The freedom loving people of the Baja are eager to buy our weapons to resist NCR aggression and NCR defense against their aggression, too. Pancho's Pride. Pancho Villa. Leader of the uh, Vale Bandits. As asked for our assistance building Grey Wall to protect his land against NCR, we're all glad to assist. And guns for Juarez. Juarez. He's eager to buy some. He's eager to buy some weapons to use against Shady Sands conscripts. Why would we turn down a loyal customer in the time of need? Why would we? Uh, yeah, I would be able to. Uh, sure, why not? So right now, tech wise, we are we're pretty much civilized in everything, so that's pretty good. anti do propaganda. Here the fights are staged. I bet El Diablo Azul isn't even sleeping with Mel Mascara's sisters. Because El Generalissimo is heyo. Oh, that's funny. Secrets of the vaults. There were very few vaults built in Mexico before the war, but the vault was doing something below Puerto uh, Libertad. Let's find out what. A little place I call my own. El Generalissimo had decided that his people wish to honor him with a uh, wonderful villa, but this will not merely be a palatial estate pools in the Pacific. There will be manicured parks for the pool people. Schools for the children. Oh, and this is also covered in loot of all beneath the construction site. However, the general is getting crotchety in his old age, and everyone is happy to give him advice on how to build the villa. This can be stressful. What's the point of the villa to relax? Unless unlocks a time decision to finish a villa. Completing additional focuses will unlock ways of delay or speed up construction at a cost in stress. Oh, I forgot that mechanic. Finished, huh? Food for the most. Uh, Sooner I was able to produce large quantities of grain before the war or Great War. But investing in our agriculture one day might even be rivaling our farm industry. Okay, probably not, but it's a nice thought and work for all. Uh, the generally most good many jobs in our nation. There are now opportunities galore. Just don't tell the new wasteland refugees how low paying they are. Um, yeah, we gotta do all this stuff. At 70 days, um, the stress of stress is generally simo. So if he's stressed, what happens? Does he die? He might die. And if he dies, he dies. Begins giving you a project. Oh, he got one too. And wait, let's talk about him. He's, he's a cruel tyrant, you know? He's a well likely leader, though. Smile, amigos, and have a drink. You stand with the sun today. According to the foremost authority on the net man, Viala himself, the generalissimo has been smiled on by the sun himself. And there may just be something to it, considering the charm life he now leads. Once a humble soldier, mercenary in truth, his stars only risen after his heroics in defense of Puerto Libertad. Now leader of men, beloved by his people and known for his savvy business sense, the Generalissimo is firmly at the top of his game. That game includes selling arms to anyone in need of them, supporting Mexico's most insidious elements, and drinking as much tequila as one human can stomach. On the other hand, it also includes bringing in amounts of caps to the era, giving back a little something to the people, occasionally, and taking good care of his beloved daughter, Lucia. He is a complicated man for a complicated world. He is the Generalissimo and the Generalissimo's arsenal. The Generalissimo's expensive array of arms at his disposal. And the, of the, at the disposal of anyone who can pay the fees uh, for the use of them. But remember, no refunds. Some time on the yacht. El Generalissimo is a good friend with soldiers, which is why he's faced so, cute, so few coup attempts. Now that I want to stress in, uh, like some time in the Sea of Cortez to unwind. We're going this way because I wanted Rice right, right down here to get 5% more recruitable population, which is kind of insane. And this is also very good too for compliance, but gun, vision. Sometimes when you kick the back on your yacht, crack a cold one open, and fire death charges at some rylurks. Generalissimo Viala can learn a thing or two while doing so. So, right now, really, with Generalissimo, he's not a terrible person. He's not a great person, but depends on your perspective, I suppose. Um, really, as we saw earlier, with the sub mod, Madura del Sol, he's not a end all be all. So, actually, which, what is the line doctor we're going down right now? Ah, Ace Mitch Warfare right now. Which is not bad, actually, we could probably race through this very quickly if we really wanted to. Um, new research department. Oh, we get a research slot. Oh, we need five labs. Um, do we have either, well, we have some money. Building labs, we could spend that much money. Ah, power search detected. Oh, look at that, cool. We love a Generalissimo Day. Today all of Ente del Sol celebrates a Generalissimo Day. A day celebrating an invincible, unbeatable, and incalculably attractive leader, our Generalissimo has done a lot for the people of the Anta in these last couple years. Many people remember when our Generalissimo single and barehandedly defended Puerto Libertad bravely against waves of monstrous cangrejos. At our handsome and viral, the Generalissimo speech today proclaimed our place in the sun would be found, and it is you, my friends, who I thank for making me what I am today. 
Without your lives rule over, I would be nothing. I'm as proud to be your leader as you are to be my subjects. Long live Henta. Long live the Generalissimo. This eloquent and impassioned speech was met with a mandatory five minute standing ovation. And one elderly gentleman was reported to have fainted from the sheer passion felt by the citizens of Henta for their leader. So, and also the followers. It doesn't make sense to really have them too much, but I just wanted them anyways. Uh, we don't like just measures. So, right now, he's a little stressed. We have 313 days left. I was trying to study the vault for much faster research speed, but what happens if he becomes way too stressed? That's a good question to ask. So go on Fission, and then it hosts a women's conference on the yacht. Just because El Generalissimo loves a beautiful woman, doesn't mean he's sexist. Why, some of his best hench persons are the women. There's no harm in hosting a women's conference on the yacht, and then perhaps his little Mishita will learn a thing or two. Hmm, absolutely. 78 political powers, not bad. Could be better. So we just gotta spend as much as we can here as possible. Um, we're gonna lose some money. Calumex in the water supply. So that's pretty good too. Uh, daily political power is not bad. Throw a career fair. Weekly map power is not bad. Play hearts of oak. Decent. Oromo ration is nice. And uh, yeah, that's what we got here down here at least. I still want more political power though. God fishing. And that was a women's conference. We love women here sometimes. Uh, we're still working on that, and ground control, special forces, that's a l all a little ahead of time, so let's go to over here. And you know what, let's get in closure. We can use a little bit more pee pee. Alright, pee 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 pee. And still waiting. Double check this entire list. See if there's anything that we can really do. Build three labs, hire technological breakthrough, yes please. Because I want more land auction fast as possible. Two 75% bonuses. 131 massive guns. We love a massive. Close out of that one real quick. Um, set up like bar specters. That is fine. We have only six monies, which is not very good. But again, we're not spending a whole lot of political power on stuff. Ah, seat selection's good. There, do that one. And what else? Down here, honestly, it probably makes sense for us to go with Enta Arms Factories. Ballistic Weapons Research Speed. Equipment. It's not bad. I always like this one, financial stuff. I make more money too. Um, I we might just go with that one anyways for now. I like this one a lot. This makes more sense to do, but uh, but this twenty percent is decent. I still want more civvies. Civvies are just important. Personal training. I was generally supposed to be content to sit around for too long, but it's time to get back into shape. The villa is going to have some have a top of the line CrossFit gym. Also, I want to get conflict resolution because that's a lot of daily compliance. That's a lot. Because the, the, the devs nerfed it a while ago, and I want to make sure we actually get her done. Oh, for the ultimo question. The two sons and Hentha del Sol emissaries come to the, came to the flagstaff to persuade the mighty Kaisar that the country is worthy of holding ultimo. But no man rules alone, and even the son of Mars bases his judgments on his advisor's opinions. The final decision will be ruled out when the great words of the Legion will make up their mind. At least there's a sign against the Legion. Six production. Deliver demo blocks. Or maybe we'll take out the Legion ourselves. We'll see. I'm gonna wait on that one. Ah, here we go. Poor one of the boys. Promised to invite contractor to the party. Stress and really see more out. Yo, he's trust. He's not stressed. He's trust. And then conflict resolution. Uh look at our series of conflict resolution seminars of the villa. We can apply the resistance to our occupation of the wasteland. And is this one worth doing? Not bad, but civvies are okay. Yeah, and this one we get to. A simple protection. Generally, small Viala has many flaws, but it keeps his people safe. The villa is a mo mon mon monument, not just him. The peace tyranny. What do you think of El Generalismo's vices? None can deny he's a firm, just ruler. He's so popular that even the opposition votes for him, those that survive, anyways, and Gulf economy. For the Americans, the Chinese blew us all out of hell. The Gringos up north exploited our nation for its rich oil and mineral resources. Luckily for us, much of their equipment can still be savaged, scavenged, and maybe even repaired. Guns. U.S. military forces often protected American industry in Mexico during the pre-war crises, and even left some of their weapons behind. How nice of them. More guns. How many guns do the North Americanos have? What a sad culture. Oh well, we can give them to our conscripts. A product collection. Why, these are some of the finest weapons of the wasteland. Perhaps we can distribute some of these to our boys. Reverse engineering. Much sure surprise, vault Tech did much more than produce shelters. We could learn much from the firearms and security equipment that we have found in the vaults. Industrial app applications. 
Some of the technology in the vault has an industrial benefit, Snow Gak, but this fusion plan is better than nothing in one step further. The vault is not as much, but it creates several potential opportunities. Panic attack. The stress of looking this good has gone to El Generalissimo. He needs to take some time off to recover, and in his absence, chaos will reign. Perhaps he was working too hard, so this one will lose 15% stability, which kind of sucks. But he won't be stressed anymore, so we can't kill him off that way. So we're going to continue trying to finish the villa because we don't want to lose 25% more uh, huh, uh, stability, which would really, really suck. So we're going to keep going on. Um, what is this? Cell researches? Uh, anything else here, really? Not too much currently. We're just kind of hanging out. We're still trying to finish a lot of focuses, of course. We read through these earlier, and we'll get them done. A nice place to dock the yacht. Many people still enjoy fishing in the Sea of Cortez, and all the Generalissimo is no exception. Presumably, the Duckards could also hold warships. And the villa is finished. After much work, we've been able to finish the villa. Now let's see what everyone thinks of it. And of course, we got some over here that we're going to finish too. Poncho's Pride. Um, we read that one earlier, I believe. As well as Guns for Juarez. Uh, can't do any of that stuff. anti luchador Propaganda. Yeah, we read that one too. So, with that in mind... Oh, 40. Uh, we can do grab that one. Or, you know what? This will get his arms looked up. So, we're going to keep doing all those focuses and see what happens uh, as we continue on. As we'll get... Improvise obstruction so but I think I might just end it there for the first episode. If you enjoyed the video though, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. I'll also see what else we can do with Henta Del Sol. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.